Hey, welcome back, y'all. Today we're starting a new series called Palm Blocking vs. Pick Blocking. I think we're going to turn it into a four-part series. Um, today we're going to talk about just the very basics of the difference between pick blocking and palm blocking. Uh, the next time we'll look at some simple licks and how different those look with the different types of blocking. And then we're going to do the intro to Lynn Anderson's uh, Stay There Till I Get There with Lloyd Green on Steel. We're going to play it one time palm blocked and one time pick blocked. Um, and I think that'll give us a good idea of the differences between the two and some of the technique involved. So anyway, let's get into it. Just the very basics. So as the name implies with pick blocking, after a string is picked, right, I'm going to use a pick down on the string to mute it. Now it's not always the same um, finger that you picked with because sometimes you have to prepare um, for upcoming notes and you don't want to slow yourself down by having to block with only the string with only the finger you just picked with so um, using that idea if we brought the thumb into it as I pick with index thumb is blocking and as I pick with thumb index comes down and blocks and vice versa pick with index block with thumb pick with thumb block with index so that same um, just basic movement with palm blocking would look a little different so let's pick with uh, with index and then we're going to block with the back of the palm right around there and you'll see a lot of palm blockers will have their uh, pinky hanging out that's to get a good angle on the palm for blocking all right so now let's bring the thumb into it exaggerate a little bit just to just so you can get a clear picture of what's going on as you can see there's not quite as much preparation going on with the picks but at the same time we do want to get them in the vicinity of where they're going to be picking but the blocking is coming from the back of the palm You'll see a lot of uh, pick blocking licks will have this back and forth movement to get a good um, strong block. So you can see it sounds quite a bit different, but the end result is the same, getting each string muted before the next one rings. So that's it for the basics. I will see y'all in just a little bit with some licks.